All right, hello, my name is Javier Vasquez and I'll be doing a presentation on ACID, ACID and you. Give ACID a little goopy look, that's cool. Yeah, a little goopy look on the ACID. So ACID is a, just to get this out of the way, it's a liquid that is very potent in solubility. Now, what, what does this mean for you, the person? Um, acid burns, plain and simple. Uh, if it comes into contact, well, I guess, yeah, it could vary depending on what kind of acid and we'll get into types of acid soon. Um, but when it hits your skin, a chemical reaction is caused and that is not good for your skin, just to, to put it bluntly. So there are lots of, you know, there, there's different kinds of acids. To, get to, start off, to start us off a bit, we'll be looking at sulfuric acid, which uh, it's a relatively strong acid. Um, it's the kind that you could find in car batteries and insecticides. Uh, we have nitric acid, which also pretty, pretty tough stuff. Uh, this, you can find this one in labs. Uh, I've, I've seen it there personally, uh, or explosives, if you're into that kind of thing. Um, you also have hydrochloric acids, which also pretty strong. Uh, you could find this in your stomach, believe it or not. And um, can be used to remove metal stains from metal. In the lab I was um, in, I was uh, redistributing nitric acid, I believe, and it was being used to dissolve lead, which is a pretty neat use for it. Um, and I believe hydrochloric acid is used to make PVC. And uh, to contain it, you can use beakers of all kinds. Um, it doesn't have to be glass, but glass is probably the most common container you'd find for it. Um, you also put them in acid, get this down away, acid containers is a good place to just, you know, they're, they're made to store acid. So it's a great place to store your acid. Now, let's say worst case scenario, acid does get on you. Um, each acid kind of has, there's some similarities, but there are some differences depending on how to treat them. Uh, when it comes to nitric acid, just flush it with like tons of water for some time and remove any clothing that has been affected with it. Make sure to seek medical attention afterwards. Hydrochloric, it's pretty similar to nitric. Um, just remember to gauze up the wound and uh, to also seek medical attention. Sulfuric, yeah, you could use a mild soap solution. Um, might feel some heat, but uh, a lot better than the alternative. Um, but how can we avoid it, that even happening in the first place? Well, that's where PPE comes in. Uh, when it comes to face protection, you wear your eye goggles and face shield. You, know, you don't want that getting corroded. And uh, for your body, make sure to have a lab coat and an acid-resistant apron, like this gentleman has. And gloves, um, just get some heavy-duty stuff. Make sure those stay safe. And um, these are the kind of labels you might find in a lab environment. And they're, they're pretty clear. You know, you know, if this gets on you, you'll start missing chunks of your hand. Same here, or just chunks of whatever it lands on. Um, there was an incident I found in real life. So IRL means um, on May 9th, where a, uh, there was a bit of an incident where um, they improperly disposed of the acid and it kind of caused the fume hood to, to burst. Um, luckily there were no injuries, but uh, just goes to show that you need to make sure to be following proper etiquette. Um, I have a little interview here. I will cut in right now. Hello, this is Javier from the past. Um, I'm here with Daniel Dumbos. He requested me to be on video for this. That's why I'm on video now. Um, I guess to make him feel more comfortable. Um, but uh, Daniel, would you like to talk about your experience with acid? Yeah, so I work at O'Reilly's and at O'Reilly's we sell two different types of car batteries. We sell gel batteries and acid batteries. The most common battery we do sell is a acid battery. And the thing is, um, we do have some that do go bad. We do check when they go bad. They have dates on them to make sure to make sure um, when like when's a good time to sell them and when's like a past date where we shouldn't sell them. And it's like bread. Yeah, like like or like an expired food. Um, but there's a point where the battery where the acid starts leaking out of the battery itself in the top terminal post. And so we usually take those to the back. And if there's any acid at the bottom. Like is it, if there's any acid on the floor, we use baking soda to pick it up. Um, I I do I did have 
battery acid hit my clothes. Luckily, it didn't hit my skin. But there's a little shirt that I had that that had acid like pour through it. My skin was okay though. There wasn't any any rash, any marks or anything. Um, we do. We are supposed to wear aprons. We are supposed to wear aprons. We are supposed to wear masks. And we're supposed to use this little uh, clamp tool to pick up the battery. So uh, when we when we do pick up the when we do pick up the acid, um, the neutralized acid, we throw it in the trash can. And with the battery, with the old battery, we just send it back to the manufacturer to have it um, fixed up and and ready to go. And we just get a new battery. Um, now I do have a question. Um, this is a bit off the record here. Uh, mm -hmm. You said you're supposed to be wearing like aprons and stuff. Um, if you were wearing an apron, um, how did the acid get on your shirt? Uh, so I'm pretty sure this was like my first day. Oh, okay. Yeah. First day mishaps, right? Yeah. We've all been there? Yeah. Okay. Were you wearing an apron? I, I don't think so. I don't think so. Ooh. That's, I, I, well, I'm wearing them all the time now, but this is... I guess it's, it's your first time. I mean, yeah, kind of a. It's more on your man, on your manager than you. You know, you're you're good. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not I'm not a cop or nothing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay. It's, I, I see you. I see you worried. I, I'm just I'm no, trying to, no. I mean, it's, it's. I mean, it's happened a while ago. I, I, I can cut this out. I I can cut this part out. Um, because you, again, you seem very like I. You're. I, I think you're sweating. Like I can't really you tell. You don't have to. You don't have to. Like, you sure? Okay. Thank you, thank you for your time. All right. Yeah. Thank okay. you, guys. No problem. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Um, back. Oh, what what a great interview. Um, acid in media. So um, something I've noticed that typically in media, it's kind of portrayed as a sort of like a a, a green goo. But as you saw earlier, um, most acids are kind of clear. Um, so I'm, I'm not actually sure where this, this green liquid came from. Um, also, you know, classic Two-Face, you know, got some acid on him and he kind of uses it and it's kind of his identity now. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's all I got for acid. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, yeah.